We're doing that spoiler review of Avengers Endgame. So if you haven't seen it, turn around right now and go see it. So first off, the movie starts off a couple days, like six days a week after uh, the snap. Here they go off, find Thanos, and fucking kill him, dude. You find out the stones are already gone. He destroyed them. Mm -hmm. And then they kill him, and then like five years passes. Ant-Man mm -hmm. is the key to the movie. Yep. He comes back, talks to them about the quantum realm, and then essentially proposes time travel. Time works kind of like how I thought it does, where it's linear. Like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, when, whenever a time stone's used, time is still moving forward. You can only control certain things within the same timeline. So when they go back in the timeline, they're still affecting the one timeline. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, they get all almost all the stones. They find a way, uh, even going further back in time, to get the last one they need. They gather them all together, but Thanos, because of a time loop, or not even time loop, like a time discrepancy, Nebula gives away, her old self gives away the plans to Thanos. So what she they- She doesn't mean to, it just kind of happens just because of the- The connection. Yeah, the connectivity, just like, it's all the same timeline, so the shit that she has in the future affects past Nebula. Captain America is worthy. And it is so fucking sweet. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. They, they create a new gauntlet. The Hulk brings back everyone. And then everyone from all these different realms fight Thanos and his army. And fuck, man. Some crazy, crazy shit happens. It is really good shit. And uh, sacrifices are made. Tears were d definitely dripping down my face. What about you guys? I was crying. Yep. <clears throat> it, it, it hit us all hard. Right here in the heart. Right here in the soul, <laughs> in the soul stone. So after those big sacrifices, they do a really, really good job of wrapping up the movie. Everyone kind of gets an ending they all deserve, but I give it a 9.5 out of 10. To me, it was a great wrap up to 10, what, 12 years of fucking awesome movies. Yeah. 9.5 for the two. Yeah. I, I gotta stay on the same page, man. It was great. It I was, might have to bump my score up from 9.5 to a 10 because I just cannot keep my shit together. The, the more I think about like what happened to these characters in this movie, the more it just touches my soul stone, right? Because I, I, I feel for these characters. I've grown up, you know, the past 10 years with these characters and seeing their their lives unfold you know even though it's not real it's still it still feels real it still feels like it, it's it's all a big family and and the the, the lessons you get in it are, are, are just really touching and when you hear things like like Thor's mom talking to him like don't be what you're supposed to be don't be what people want you to be be who you are you know like Enjoy yourself for who you are and what you bring to the table because it's really special and it's individual to you. You have all these different family groups and it really stresses how not important it is to lean on them when you need help but to appreciate all the times and moments you have with them. Uh, we're on this planet for a very finite moment um, and it's really about the people you spend your time with, the experiences you have with them, the love you share. So you, you know, might have quarrels with them, you might have yep. beefs with them, you might have really, really big disagreements. But in the end, uh, regardless if they're your blood family or the people you hold dearest and closest to you, uh, you got to cherish them because you never know when you might be without them or they might be without you. Because we started out with all of them being unaware of each other. Yeah. They were fighting and now they're crying each other's funerals. They want to see each other grow and live. So it's these uh, these different themes in the movie that really touch us and we hope it touches you too. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>